I'm going to start this video with a kind of more difficult learning check or making you think about things before I teach them to you. Hopefully things you can figure out. So I want you to look down at this beautiful alveolus, um, singular alveoli down here that has a partial pressure of oxygen of 104. And there is blood moving past here in the capillary this way, right? Like that arrow that's already there. How does the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and oxygen in these alveolar capillaries, alveolar, which I tend to leave out that L sometimes by accident, I apologize. Um, how does that compare to the partial pressures within the alveoli? So now we're looking at in the alveoli compared to the capillaries versus the previous video, we were looking at um, atmosphere versus alveolar. So two questions for you to think about. Um, well, to answer, first one, a time point A, is the partial pressure of oxygen less, equal to, or greater than 104? You should be able to think about what's going to happen to this alveoli and come up with an answer. Explain. It's going to be less, right? So oxygen needs to be able to diffuse from the alveolus into the capillary. That's what it's going to do, right? That's what's going to happen here. In order for that to happen, the partial pressure has to be lower in the capillary. Partial pressure gradients are what allow for gas diffusion. So the blood coming before it gets to the capillary, I'm sorry, before it gets to the alveolus is going to be lower, maybe 40. We'll come back to that number. Okay, what about a time point B, less, equal, or greater? What do you think? Equal, why? Equilibrium. Equilibrium has been reached. Oxygen diffuses from those the alveoli, alveolus, to the capillaries until the partial pressure of the two are equal. Yep, okay, let's look at the systemic um, picture I showed in the last video, and I drew these for you in the last video, right? Let's now look at what partial pressures are going to be. Oh, sorry, you can um, ignore that one for now, or you can have it. That's fine. Actually, that's a that's a clue. That's actually our answer. Um, I was first going to say, what do you think the partial pressures are in the pulmonary veins? Because that's this right here, right? That's what's going to happen. Or we're first going to look after external respiration occurs. So that's a way of asking um, alveolar to pulmonary veins. And the partial pressure changes there are going to be the partial pressure change. Well, OK, I should say changes because they're not going to change. Um, the, looking at those two is going to be what occurs during external respiration. So equilibrium is reached, right? So partial pressure of oxygen is still 100. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 40 because of this, right? It's going to be the same. Um, you could graph that. It's going to be maintained actually those partial pressures throughout the systemic circuit so systemic arteries still have have that and you probably can see ahead of time we're going to have a drop a, a change drop of oxygen increase in carbon dioxide um, at those systemic capillaries 